Oh, uh, these kicks are uh, weak, bro. I'm not, I'm not in my uh, styled clothes. These are my comfortable clothes. You know, it's training camp, so. say I had a strange meal, but probably the most uh, interesting meal that I had was the sushi uh, at the Tsukiji Market in Tokyo. And I think we had raw squid, very smooth and almost slimy, but very firm. It tasted good though. Sierra wasn't having it. I had to force her to eat it because, you know, when's the next time we're going to be in Tokyo? Oh, there's this risotto in Italy, man. I tell you this risotto, bro. People travel across the world to try to get this chef to sell his risotto recipe at this very small town in Italy. I wish I knew what the town was, but it was the best thing I'd ever eaten in my life. Easily, hands down. I didn't know food could taste that good. I could have eaten a gallon of risotto. Oh, I got a couple things on the list, a couple places. I'm really interested in going to Uganda uh, because one of my buddies has a nonprofit that operates in Uganda. That might be after I'm done playing. That would be a, it would be a longer time commitment, I would think. Uh, but I, 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 would, I would like to go to uh, Tanzania to do a safari for a couple weeks. You can say this about any place, but it's one thing to read about it, it's another thing to live in it. In Asia, for example, it's just an entirely different experience. Uh, things like personal space, the types of foods, the flavors, the tastes, uh, the climates. I can't say that I learned anything in particular outside of just being able to have those new experiences that I wouldn't be able to have uh, in the United States. We get about 24 hours. We got a little longer because they cut into our off day today. Today's our off day. We had practice yesterday and we have practice tomorrow. It's not bad if you know how to manage it. You gotta take care of the body. This entire day was spent uh, recovering for the next uh, few practices. So my, my parents, when my parents weren't at home, we weren't allowed to go outside. Because of that, we ended up playing a lot indoors but it was all relative. So we, could you imagine six kids uh, in this two car garage because we couldn't go outside riding our bikes in a circle in this two car garage, <laughs> six kids. We did stuff like that, played air hockey, uh, ping pong. We played a roller hockey in the garage once too. For a day. Illegal hits on the quarterback. Fergie's fabulous. Fergalicious? No, Fergalicious, yeah. It depends where I'm going. I had a terrible experience with an Airbnb in Shanghai. Uh, so if I'm traveling to a foreign destination for the first time, probably a hotel. If I've been there before, then Airbnb. It used to be spaghetti. My mom made this great spaghetti uh, before games, and I'd always eat that the night before games. But now it is most likely sushi. Understand the value of sacrifice and what that means, and, and carefully evaluate what being in the NFL means to you, and understand what's necessary to accomplish that uh, and, and that requires you to understand what you're, what you're willing to sacrifice to get it. Yeah. All right, bro. Catch you guys next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please press thumbs up and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe.